Hey, it's Anthony, and this could be your job. In 1886, William M. Dutton and two friends started a small harness and horse collar shop right here in Hastings, Nebraska. 130 years later, the Dutton legacy lives on as Dutton Laneson Company. And while they're no longer making horse collars, they've become a leader as a marine products manufacturer and are one of only a few companies left in the United States that are all U.S. made. They make thousands of products that go all around the world. Here at Dutton Laneson, they make everything from tongue jacks to trailer hitches to oil cans, but what I'm checking out today is how they make winches. You know the tool people use to pull boats? Yeah, they make all shapes and sizes of winches, and they're some of the best in the world. The brains behind these mechanical marvels are the engineers, and that's my first stop. It all starts with an idea and a concept, which happens here in the engineering department. Engineers work to come up with design innovations that go on to become Dutton Laneson's longtime products. I'm here with Zane, and he's going to tell me a little bit more about how he makes winches. How you doing? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So you make these things. So we, we don't actually make them, but we do design them in here. Okay. So. We, we basically start the design process so that we can make a winch that they can produce out on the floor. To make something like this, I'm guessing you needed a little bit of education. Yes. You know, what, what kind of schooling did you need to learn how to make this stuff? I'm a mechanical engineer, so I got my degree from the University of Nebraska in Lincoln. Education is important for an engineering career. Some other important skills to have include computer modeling, advanced mathematics, attention to detail, and communication skills. So if you're good at math and you're good at science and you want to make some good money, yeah. <laughs> engineering might be the path for you. Right, right. I usually use my computer for gaming, mm -hmm. but uh, maybe you could show me what you have on your computer? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Zane walked me through the programs he uses to design the winches. All of the engineers work together to come up with new and better ways to provide quality products to their customers. Engineering is a highly sought after career according to CNBC's list of most in-demand jobs. Industry-wide engineers can make between sixty dollars and $90,000 annually with three to ten years of experience. These jobs often require years of study, but with 140,000 new jobs to be added to the field between 2019 and 2026, those ready to work in areas like Zane will find low unemployment and high demand. Zane, your job is fascinating. It's way over my head, I'll tell you that, but it's so cool to see you making designs that become products. But I really want to see how they take your design and actually turn it into something, and where would I go to find that out? Um, you could go talk to Scott in the tool room and he should be able to fill you in on any information on how these, these actually go from this point onward. Well, I will do that. Thank you, Zane. Yeah, thank I'll let you. you get back to work. Scott in the tool room showed me how they transform Zane's designs. They mark out the holes and lettering and create tools to be put into machines. These tools are constructed to exact specifications so that when they mass produce products, every single part is the same. If you're the type that likes to work with your hands, the tool shop might be right up your alley. High school machine shop programs and trade school training are great steps to achieving a career in tooling. Every product they make here at Dutton Laneson and every product you see on shelves, whether it's a cell phone, iPads, or TVs, has been touched by a toolmaker's hands. They had to make all the molds and dies to make these products come to life. While I wanted to see these tools in action, I first needed to see how they're made. So, winch bottoms, do you have any options of working on something like that today? Uh, we got one back there we can mess with. Cool, let's do it. That little red drawing that we had is this part right here. And this is a winch bottom, this meaning? Is, this is the base of a DLB 1500 pound winch. Big one. Big one. <laughs> well, what? we're going to do is we're going to pull these blocks off okay. and, and sharpen them and put this tool back into service. Sweet. Okay. 
I need to hit the gym a little more, I think. Well, you put it back together and nobody got hurt, and that's a good thing. All fingers. All fingers. After putting the tool back together, I was ready to check out how they use it to make parts. They do this in their progressive die building. Here at Denton Laneson, they employ hundreds of people from entry level to skilled positions. In Prague Die, these workers use their skills to take Zane's design and the tool we made with Scott to produce the actual products. I'm here with Zach, and it's his job to run all these big machines. So tell me a little bit about what you do. What is Prague Die? We take all the tools like you guys just saw in the tool room, and as you see these machines behind us, they make all the products you guys saw. Zach and his team in Progressive Die are responsible for producing numerous components of the highest quality from a variety of Progressive Dies. Progressive Die is a metal forming process widely used to produce parts for various industries. It consists of several individual workstations, each of which performs one or more different operations on the part. So this massive machine can put 600 tons of force down onto a part. I don't think you want to get in between that. Pretty impressive. Using 6,000 pound coils of sheet metal, the parts are punched out of the strip and moved on to the next step in the process. So all the scrap metal after the products are made go into these big bins and then they're picked up by city iron and metal to be recycled and made into new products. A high school degree or equivalent is required and general knowledge of progressive dyes and molds plus computer skills is preferred. Alright, so what do we make? Made a winch base. And uh, what's this become? It becomes a winch after it goes to assembly. So to see it kind of fully formed, I gotta go to assembly and yep. check that out. Well, I appreciate you showing me around. It's been awesome. Uh, greasy hands and all. Yep. I'll leave this with you and I'll go check out what they got in assembly. Sounds good. Have a good day. You too. So once all the parts are made, they're sent over here to assembly to be put into products. It's our job to make sure that all the parts fit together and send out that final product. I'm here with Troy, and he's here to tell me what my job is today. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. I'm Anthony. Nice to meet you, Anthony. It's our job to take the products that you guys make and put them into this. That's correct. So what do I need to do to get started? Well, we start from the head of the uh, line right up here. If you got some gloves, I'll show you. Okay. All right, what we're gonna do is go to the front, and I want you to be able to do this quickly and safely because that's more important than anything. We've already got you one started right here. I'm gonna start this part, and then we'll do it together. All right, so I'm learning as we go here, right? That's correct. Okay, I'm gonna give it my best shot. Okay. All right, so we are assembling the winch. All right, two done. On okay. to the next spot. And like that. Right, now we take the nut. Is it good to ask questions? Absolutely. <laughs> hmm, this one seems to be a little more skillful. Yeah. It's magnetized, so it should oh, stay nice. in there for you. It's a little bit of pressure. There you go. This way. It shows you the ratchet's working. And this works. That's right. I've created a working winch. You sure have. Someone working in assembly must be 18 years of age and possess general math and writing skills. Dutton Laneson offers first year employees two weeks of vacation with the opportunity to earn an additional week of PTO. You know, it's my first day and uh, I didn't know if I would be able to pick it up, but uh, they're really good at helping you understand the products, what we're doing here, and teaching me, you know, just what this is all about. I, I really appreciate that. You know, it's really easy to pick up and it's kind of fun, you know, just passing the time, making actual products that'll be out there someday. You know, this uh, winch I'm putting together right now will be bought by someone and put on someone's boat. So, that's pretty cool. And we're done. Alright, I got it all loaded up. Are we, we ready to ship it? You got it. Then we put a lid on it, we write a quantity down, and then we'll send it to shipping to uh, Eric Paulson. Alright, so if I want to see how these are shipped out, that's where I'm going next? That's right. Thank you so much for teaching me about Absolutely. assembly. Absolutely. I learned a lot today. Thank you. Have a good day. Yep. So Troy said shipping and receiving is the last stop on the winch journey and this is where they all come before they get shipped out. I'm here to meet with Eric and Eric looks like we got a box of winches just about to go out. Yes. So uh, it's your job to make sure that uh, everything's where it needs to be before it goes out to the customers? Correct. Dutton Lansing ships out thousands of products around the world every week. Eric and his team are responsible for making sure every order is filled and sent to the correct location. 
They must also keep track of inventory, move products and raw material around the plant, and operate forklifts and pallet jacks. Here's a very, very simple order. I mean, small package. Okay. This is an order that a gentleman called in from North Carolina. Okay. He needs one handle. Bin location is E2. E2. Well, I can go get this and get it on okay. the pallet. Let's do it. Okay. Eric put me right to work pulling orders for customers. The department layout and the organized inventory labeling made it easy to find each product and get them ready for delivery. E2. Yep. My pallet and hundreds of others just like it leave Dutton Laneson each day going to customers around the world. All done. Shipping is my last stop on the Dutton Laneson tour and it was pretty impressive to watch a winch go from concept to tooling to production of each part, assembling them together, and finally here, sending them out the door. That ends my day here at Dutton Laneson, and this place is great. I had such a fun time working here today, and it's not just winches. They have thousands of products that leave here every day. You know, this is a great family atmosphere to work in, and the company, it just has such a great legacy. Over a hundred years of providing products right here in Hastings. Who knows, one day, maybe it'll be your job.